Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free blog post template for Divi's Daycare Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Next, you want to scroll down and click on Get It For Free Today, add your email address, and then click on Download. So next, we want to click here on this button, which says Download the Files. And as you can see, the files has been downloaded over here on my Downloads folder. So all I have to do now is to navigate to this folder by uh, just clicking in Show in Finder. All right, so you can see that it has been downloaded in here. So I'm just going to drag this over to my other screen so we can move on to the next part. So what we need to do next is to come over here now to our dashboard. And this is where now we can just scroll all the way down until we see Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Next, we're going to come over here to Portability, click on Import. And now we're going to go to that file which we've just downloaded. And here it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is to just drag and drop it here. But that's not the only way you can install it. You can also click here and find it through your folders. All right, so with these two options checked, you want to click on Import DV Theme Builder Template. Now, before I do that, I'd like to show you what this blog post template looks like. So as you can see, I have my featured image here. I have my title, description. I also have another image here. And this is what it looks like. I'm sure you can agree with me that we can uh, improve this design by using our template. So back over here now, let's continue. I'm going to click on Import DV Theme Builder Template. And as you can see, it's been added here to my post template. So all I have to do now is to click on Save Changes. And now when I come back over here to my blog post, notice what happens when I refresh. So I'm just going to hit Refresh. And now... This has been transformed and this looks way much better than we had before. So you can see here, this is my title and this is my content. And when I scroll down here, it has the author, the newsletter, related posts, and so on. We also have the comments area here. And also this newsletter section on the bottom. All right, so now that we have this all set, all our blog posts are going to have a similar design and this is the beauty of having this design template so what i'm going to do next is to go in and show you how you can go in and customize this to match your design so to do that you want to come over here now to our theme builder and you want to go into the actual blog post template so i'm going to click here on this pencil icon all right so first things first let's take a look here at this main section. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. It's going to take me to my section settings. And then over here on background, if we go to the second tab, which is the gradient, this is how we get this blue here on the top. So if you wanted to change that and add your own color, you can just do that by changing it like that. But we're going to leave it as it is. But that is where you go in and change your colors in case you have a totally different color scheme. Next, we're going to uh, come over here to this uh, text module. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. So as you can see, this is showing our post categories. If you want to make any adjustments to this, all you have to do is to click on this gear icon. And you can see here we have the separator. And this is calling from the categories. And this is dynamic content, by the way. All right, so let's say you want to customize the colors and perhaps maybe even change the font. To do that, you just want to click on this um, paintbrush icon and this takes us straight to our link. So now we can go in and change the font itself. So you can see here, I've just changed that to Open Sans. So you can change this to whatever font you want. And if you wanted to change the colors, you can just come over here and you can update your colors like that. All right, so I'm going to close out of here as well. Next, let's take a look at our heading here. So if I click on this gear icon, it's going to take me to my uh, text module. But this text here is added through dynamic linking. So you can see this is the post or archive title. Now, if you again, if you want to customize this, you can just click here on this little uh, brush icon. And right now you can see we have uh, Fridoka 1 as our font, but you can change this to, say, Poppins, for example. But of course, this wouldn't work because it's a bit too serious. But the point of this is to show you that you can actually change your fonts here. 
Okay, so let's move on and uh, let's see how we can change our colors. And just like on the categories, you can just change your colors by coming over here to color palette. Or you can add a specific color by coming over here. Okay, so once that's done, let's move on to the next item. And that is the information over here. Now, before I can go into uh, this information here, we notice that we have this shape right here. Let's see how we can uh, go in and customize that shape. I'm going to click here on my settings, design, dividers. And you can see here we have a bottom divider, which is this shape. So you can either go in and change the shape altogether, but that's a bit too sharp for, for this type of website. That wouldn't work. We need some soft shapes. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here. Perhaps you want to use something like that. So this is where you'd come and change all your dividers. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here, move on to the next section. So this next section here is a bit interesting because it has some shapes in. Let's see how they're added and also show you how you can remove them. So I'm going to come over here to background and this is our main color. So you can play around with that color. So you can see as I'm changing this, I am shifting my colors. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that. Next, let's take a look at this image now. So I'm going to click on this third tab. And as you can see, this is the image that you can see here in the background. So I can totally delete it. And as you can see, now we have a plain background. And again, I'm just going to undo that. But this is just to show you where you can go in and change that. So I'm going to close out of here. Next, we also have these uh, areas here. And um, I'm going to go into one of them. Again, this is dynamic content. So this will show the post author. We can also change the styling of this by coming over here. And you can you know, play around with the font. So you can see I've just changed that to Poppins. So I'm going to close up. In fact, before I close out of that, you can also update the colors. You can see yeah, the colors are changing. So that is where you go and change these. Now, we also have this background here. Let me show you how you can go in and change that. So I'm going to come over here to my column settings and then go into background. So this is where we have this white color. So if you can, if you want, you can go in and change that. So you can see now that my color is updating. OK, I'm going to close out of this. Next, let's take a look at this row. So this row has our post settings. So I'm going to come over here and you can see our post content settings here. So you can start off on the top here by um, adjusting your headings. So I'm going to click here. So again, we have our heading. We can change our heading color just by going into that. But I'm just going to reset this. Next, we can go in and change our size. So you can see here. I can make this bigger or even smaller. All right, now we have this paragraph text. And again, you can just come over here and we can start working on our paragraph text. So we can choose uh, this uh, Fidoka one as our main text. And you can see here it's just been updated. And if you want to do our normal paragraph, we just come over here. And again, I can just update it by coming over here. So you can see here that uh, it is updating, but I don't recommend this for your main text anyway. But that is where you'd go in and add your text. If you want to update the colors, you can just come over here. And as you can see, our colors are updating. So this is how you go in and stylize this part of your site. All right, let's close out of here and let's keep moving. And next, let's take a look here at this area here. So this is a blurb module. So the top part here is our title, which has been added through our dynamic link. And then over here, we also have our author bio. Again, this has just pulled in dynamically. We also have our image here. So once you have an image, this will be showing up over here. Moving on, we also have uh, this related posts. And it also has this shape and this shape is similar to what I showed you earlier on. But the most important thing I need to address here is this area here, this newsletter. So with this newsletter, let's go in and make some changes to this because if you don't make your adjustments here, this opt-in would not work. So I'm going to come over here and go to our email account. So this is where you can connect your autoresponder to your email opt-in so that when someone adds their name and email address, they'll be added onto your mailing list. So here we have several services. We have Active Campaign, Aweber, ConvertKit, Emma, and so on, Fluent CRM. So you have to choose your main uh, service here. 
And then once you've chosen it, you want to uh, select your list. But the list needs to be created beforehand because if you don't create it beforehand, it will not show over here. Now, over here on the fields, if you feel like, you know what, I don't want to collect the names, you can just disable it like that. And uh, now you only have your email. So this is where you can go in and customize it. Now, one feature I really like here as well is the success action so this is where you can add a specific message that shows up when someone hits subscribe or you can completely redirect them to a specific page over here so this is really really powerful you can uh, use this to redirect all your subscribers maybe perhaps to a thank you page or even a specific page with a message all right so i'm gonna close out of here and uh, let's continue on this will dynamically show over here but if you want to customize it you can just click on this gear icon and there's a few things you can customize here so we have our post count so we have two you can specify how many you want to have here it's also showing the current category and over here on the design um, as you can see, we have rounded corners here. So you can also go in and add your rounded corners by coming over here to border. So right now we have 22, but of course you can increase it. I know this looks ridiculous, but this is where you would go in and make your adjustments. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. Now over here on the comments, again, if you click on this gear icon, it's going to take you to your comments settings. So here we can go in and make adjustments by just clicking any of these brush icons these are the icons which will take you directly to where you want to make your change so for example let's say i need to change that you can see i've uh, gone in and added my color there on submit a comment and i can also do this here and uh, change that to red for example so as you can see this is how easy it is to go in and make changes to this all right so moving on we also have this newsletter now again this is an opt-in so it's very similar to what i showed you earlier on you you'd come over here and uh, connect this with your email service provider and once you connect it it's going to be adding all the names onto that list so pretty much this is how you can go in and make changes to our post template so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care